Sometimes you're just trying to make people laugh while you're trying to have fun yourself. Fantastic. Good morning, everybody. My name is Curtis, and this is the show. Uh, morning, Ripley. What did you get up to this week? No. 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 Uh, you had the greatest adventures. The greatest adventures ever. Uh, but you all heard it. I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, so, first of all, let's talk about uh, Stand Up Miramichi. There's a, a Facebook page that, uh, well, here's the disembodied head of, uh, of Doug. He set up this thing because he's like, I live in Miramichi, and I want comedy to be in Miramichi. And I happened to walk into one of his many jobs, and he was like, you must like comedy. M must I? I mean, everybody should, I think. Who doesn't Who doesn't enjoy enjoying things? Uh, but yeah, of course. Why? Why? What are we talking about? What's happening right now, Doug? And he was like, my, my name is Doug. Nice to meet you. Blah, blah, blah. Bling, 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 blah. Here's a, here's a show that's going to be here uh, in September that you might be interested in. Yeah, maybe. What else you got, Doug? Oh, well, I started this Facebook page called Stand Up Mirror Machine where I'm trying to see if people are interested in some stand-up. In Miramichi, and I said, I'm, 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 I'm very interested. Like, I did it before, and it was awesome. Uh, if you, if you, if you do this, if you set this up, I want in. I want to be on your show. Let's do this. Go, Doug. Go. Make show happen now. I'm there. I can, I can do this in front of people. I think I've done it. Like I said, I've done it before, and it was awesome. The greatest thing in the world. Um, I don't know what Doug's head is doing over here, but whatever. That's. That's my imagination. That's my problem. My thing to deal with. Uh, so yeah, go to uh, uh, facebookcom slash machine Join it. Show your support. Because uh, I figure, hey, uh, I'm in Miramichi. I'm in the town, the city, the, the state of Miramichi. I'm in the state of Miramichi over here, and it would be fun. It would be great if I could go down to the theater and I have fun telling stories in a place where people actually legitimately want me to tell stories. Because you know, normally at a party or something, um, I try my best not to take over and just start telling Curtis stories, as Mike White calls them. But if Mike happens to be at the party, uh, Mike is like, hey, 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 everybody, your stories are all well and good and whatnot. And, you know, we're all enjoying them. That's that's cool. You're all cool. But uh, Curtis is here. So um, some of you have never heard a Curtis story. So everybody shut up and let Curtis tell a Curtis story. Curtis, go. Ooh. What, what, what are we talking, what, what, which one? What are we talking about, Mike? What do you want? And then Mike will usually bring up whatever, like, oh, remember earlier you were saying, like, you went to the thing and a bunch of stuff happened, like, when I went to the store to get some, some Mountain Dew, because I was in the mood for Mountain Dew for the first time in, like, a year and a half? Yeah. Well, that's not really a story. I just went here, and then he's like, see, it's happening right now. Like, <sighs> yeah, it's true. Everything I do somehow turns into a weird... Lord of the Rings trilogy, where I have to get the chocolate bar uh, back to Mordor so that everything can be uh, copacetic again. Uh, speaking of doing standing up for comedy, a um, long time ago, Galaxy Far, Far Away, uh, I did it a few times, but the first time, a uh, good friend Tim, hey Tim, he put together a stand up show for Christmas. And he said, Hey, do you guys know anybody who'd be interested in being in the stand up show? And, and I said, this guy. What about, hey, uh, that guy with the Captain America shirt and a green sweater, glasses, beard, used to basically live at your apartment for like most of the time and, and we tell funny stories. Don't you think they belong on your stage? Yes. Yes, you do. So I went there. So before the show even starts, sit at the table. Tim is going up, hosting, bringing up the next person, then coming back and sitting near us. And I'm sitting with uh, Tim's roommate and good friend Brad. And me and my good friend Brad are sitting there and we're just talking and joshing around. And Brad's like, oh, do you, do you want me to create your lights? Like, I have lights in my car. Like, I can set up the lights. And Tim was like, no, I think we're good. I think we've got enough lights. Are you sure? Um, I don't know. I'm just looking at these lights. I'm pretty anal about the lights. Like, all right, cool. And then he looks at me like, hmm? I'm pretty anal about the lights, huh? All right, cool. Anal. Yep, gotcha anal about the lights over here, like, okay, cool, Brad, I get it, you're trying to make me feel uncomfortable, but, you know, I've seen the internet, the word anal isn't going to 
uh, break my brain over here. Like, don't don't worry about it. Uh, so, for some for some crazy reason, because things are crazy and people are crazy. Uh, this, I think he said he was fifty three years old. He he slides in. This fifty three year old man is just like, hey, did I hear you say anal? Mm, probably not in the context that that you want to talk about it, sir. What's happening right now? And I look at Brad, and Brad looks at me, and I look at Brad, and I'm like, well, you know who this guy is in my head, and Brad's like, well, you know who this guy is in his head, and then we're both realize that we don't know what's happening right now. We're about to hear something crazy. Everyone, edge of your seat, seat belts on, and here we go. And he was like, I spend. Uh, he was like, I, you know, I, I live pretty simply. I don't spend a lot of money on things. I save my money, and then I usually go down south uh, to, to, I want to say Portugal for you know, a month or a few weeks or whatever it is. Like, all right, sounds amazing. Awesome. Good story. Trying my best to, to get my thing uh, locked in. So when I get up there, I'm not just thinking about all the crazy things that the weird old men have said to me before I get up on stage. And then he's like, so me and this young fella, he's like, we spent, oh, we spent every night together. Like we were just, we we're just inseparable. It was just the greatest. And he was he was probably only about your size, and he points to me, and I'm like, cool, yeah, I don't think that's a pertinent uh, detail that I need, is it? Apparently it is. He's like, well, he's like, anyway, speaking of anal, he's like, you know what's really hard? He's like, getting your entire foot, like, up to the ankle inside someone's anal cavity. Like, yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Why? Well, I, that's not a thing that needs to be questioned. We all know, I'm pretty sure, that that's why you threaten somebody. I will put my foot in your ass because I know that it's going to be terrible. In and out, all the situations involving a foot going up inside someone's ass is not, no. Hey, what? So you're doing it for love, you say? Excellent. What's happening? And Brad is clearly, he's getting a little bit... Uh, uncomfortable with the word anal at this point and uh and he's just like yeah 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 he's like it takes a lot of time a lot of time you really got to like take it slow you can't just go jamming jamming a whole foot up there like right away like mm -hmm. why is this happening and he's like but after a good long time he's like uh you know patience you know you, we did it we did it i got it up there all right so that's that's your vacation excellent now, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to tell a story or something. Oh, but you know what, he says? Oh, good, it's not over. What, what? Um, you know the hardest part? The hardest part of getting your foot in someone's anal cavity? No, I have honestly no idea. Uh, I assume that stuff that you told us, the getting it in there has got to be the hardest part. And he was like, no. No, the hardest part is convincing someone let you put your foot up there. I, I agree. I would imagine, and I agree. Good, good time. Good story. Um, so these other people are telling stories up there that uh, we're supposed to watch, I guess. And also, my stomach hurts now. What, what, what are you gonna do now, magical anal fairy? And then away he went, disappeared into the darkness. Like, all right, cool. So Brad, what was up with that? And he was like, I don't know. You don't know anything? You don't know why that happened? Like, no, I don't. Ripley, do you know why that happened? No, of course not. And and I'm just like, seriously? Like, well, he, he seemed to talk to us as if, you know, how I told you this one before. And no, no, man, we just met you. All right, cool. So then I got up on the stage and did everything I could not to say, hey, I wrote a whole thing. Plus, it's Christmas time. And I was going to use my extra time to say a bunch of Christmas stuff. But... I should probably tell you the story that this guy over here just told me, and it, it's crazy, because it's crazy. But I didn't. I talked about Santa Claus, and that man, and then a guy who stole my bike once, uh, even though he was blind. Good times. Um, another thing, Doug, you can get out of here now. Uh, we, uh, in the world of segments and fun on the show, go into the comments there and, and suggest something. Uh, Tara suggested that we do a little how to draw Milo thing, and and I did. So I did, and here's that, and then we'll be right back after you learn something. Mm. 
All right, somebody suggested that I show people how to draw Milo, because when a lot of people draw Milo, for some reason, they make him all round, like Garfield or Heathcliff, which uh, he's not. He's a box. He's a box. He's like the easiest thing in the world, because he's just a box. He was completely designed out of my uh, laziness. I wanted to do something, and my ambition, uh, and my laziness, oh, they battle all the time, and I want to be able to do something um, without thinking about it too much, and, and that's, that's where Milo came from. Uh, so yeah, like literally, he's a box. I mean, most people start with a circle. Uh, I still do sometimes, and then I draw a box around it, and uh, so basically where his, his skull will come around to the front of his face, uh, we chop it off there, and then there's a little ear there, and a little triangle ear on the back, and then his little eyes, his little eyebrow, usually, sometimes two, sometimes one. Little mouth, little chin, hair, 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 squiggle line, squiggle line. And, like, that's, that's it. That's it. The arms and legs don't even matter. I literally make up what those are going to be based on what he's doing um, in the thing, or in the case of the animated version, um, that's it. Like, he has his arms, and there's a bunch of different stuff. Some have fingers, some don't. What are we talking about right now? just saying that um, you're kind of pre-built and I might change you one day to make you a little easier uh, or more fun for me to for me to animate is all. Why are you always threatening my existence? I'm not threatening your existence. I just uh, enforce it and question it a lot. What do you mean by question? Question my existence. I'm clearly right here. No, but like uh, I also have to, you know, think uh, what you would say before you say it, and especially if we're having a conversation like a crazy person, I have to uh, also think of what I would say. Uh, so in order to keep things also somewhat interesting, I have to not give you the exact same opinions and thoughts that I have. And that can get pretty confusing. So his arms are just like they're pretty much, you know, rubber hose. And like I said, sometimes he's got little fingers. Sometimes he doesn't. Usually he's got a little paw, uh, whites. And, and that's it. Like he's a square. And the real secret... Wait, what about me? Uh, yeah, so it gets confusing, especially when I throw somebody else in there. What about Ripley? Yeah, see, Ripley's fine because she doesn't talk. Uh, that's it. I don't have to think about that. Uh, it's usually very poignant when she does have something to say, but it's never too much for, for my head to handle, you know, at one time. But you, I have to give, you know, some kind of differing opinion or else I'm just sitting here agreeing with myself, and that's psychotic. So sitting here disagreeing with yourself, that's, that's not psychotic at all. No, that's probably, I'm going to say twice as psychotic, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, one of the other little tricks of, of Milo, uh, I'll just do another one real quick. Uh, I'll put his arms out. And of course, his little tail does whatever I feel like it needs to do. Um, the absolute super secret uh, trick to Milo is that he is really... Just a Batman head uh, with arms and legs. What do you fag right now? What do you fag right now? Sometimes you don't you don't think about it in the moment, but then years later, uh, you're sitting here talking to your imaginary cat, and you're like, "Oh yeah, um, he's actually just a Batman head. He's actually just a Batman head." I'm going to bed. Good. That's what you're good for. That's uh, that's how you draw Milo. It's a square. Have you ever wanted a sketch from me, but were afraid to ask? Sure, we all are. Even I am. Even this puppet is. But it's okay. I've got a simple internet form that you can just click on for an incredibly reasonable-ish fee of $50. I'll do a nice sketch on paper and then send it to you in the real live mail and you can put it on your wall. Fantastic. That way you get a sketch and you don't have to do that turtle test from the 80s. In the mail! And we're back. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit of fun with on Milo. Uh, this week, I, I plan to do a bunch more stuff, but my microphone died. So I spent a good chunk of my time wrestling with audio, trying to make it viable again, because I had a, had a short that I was working on that I was hoping to put in the show. Uh, but new microphones in the mail, 
and uh, everything's going to get better and crazier and weirder um, very soon. Uh, go down to the info uh, below the video, and there's links to all the Facebook, uh, you, you know, buying a poetry book that I'll draw in for you, sketches, uh, the No Such Thing as Grown Ups podcast uh, with me and Tara, all that stuff. And again, go into the comments, leave them, and then I'll respond to them on the show. And or do the thing you suggest, because the whole point of this show is to do all the weird projects I've always wanted to do. Don't stab anybody. Be good. Be careful. I don't know why I saluted. No need for that. Morning, everybody. Hey, click on my butt or Ripley's butt to subscribe. Click on my butt. Click on my butt. Click on my butt. Meow. <laughs>